Absolera is a really interesting company that is in the life sciences industry. Absolera uses a lot of knowledge, uh, data science to help pharmaceutical companies get through the drug discovery phase of um, making new drugs that much quicker. And then they participate in doing revenue shares with those companies. It's a really interesting concept. Absolera has attracted some really top-notch investors. And although it, it has such a really impressive plan ahead of it, the stock price is way down. It's it's really at at 85% drop from its height after their, their IPO. I've been an investor in Absolera. I got out of the investment probably about a year ago. And I just got back into this stock this week. I'd like to share with you my analysis of this company, the reasons why I'm putting a small bet on Absolera. My name is Victor. I have an MBA, a lot of business experience, and I like sharing my analysis on companies that I look to invest in on YouTube. Do me a big favor and like my video and consider subscribing to my channel. You can see more videos like this one. Now, let me go over my process and let me go over Absolera. I like to follow a consistent process as I evaluate a company and determine whether I want to buy, hold, or sell. And the first question I want to know is, do I want to be a part owner of that company? Do I think their business is really good? Do I believe the industry is worth investing in? Is the management team doing an excellent job in operating the company very well? Is debt under control in less than three times EBITDA? And I want to discount the stock. That way I can see my investment, my hard-earned money grow in value. Based on the answers to those questions, I buy, hold, or sell. So what's the story on Absolera? Absolera is a new company. I think they've been public uh, three years, uh, a little over three years. And really their proposition to the market is to help pharmaceutical companies get through their drug discovery phase, all the science that goes into making a drug, testing it out, and then bringing it to market after the FDA approves the sale of that drug, then people can take it to either cure an illness, uh, deal with a disease, or maybe deal with the symptoms that a disease will bring. Absolera really uses big data. They're almost like an AI company for this industry, and they help these companies. They charge in two different business models. One is pharmaceutical company can, can hire them and they can do R&D for that pharmaceutical company. Now, where it gets really interesting is the royalty model that they also provide, which is uh, they'll discover a drug with a company like Pfizer and Moderna, and they once the drug goes to market, like the COVID vaccine, then this company will be paid a royalty. And what we saw during the COVID years when all the vaccines were being sold, just huge amounts of revenue came to Absolera and a very profitable revenue stream came into play. And that's why big investors are in Absolera. The problem they've had is that they, they had a boom during COVID and now they don't have any more royalties, but they have had a number of partners, a number of drugs in the discovery phase so I'm not quite sure when the next royalty revenue stream is going to come, but when it does, it becomes really profitable. So I like the company. I really like what they're doing. It's a very uh, new service or partnership that they have with, with pharmaceutical companies that is going to, A, really help you know the whole industry, help people because they're going to have better drugs be developed at, you know, in faster rates so people could be cured of their diseases or or maybe help them with their symptoms. And so that provides a lot of value to the marketplace. The partners that Absolera has, it's the who's who within pharmaceutical. From Lilly, which I believe is, is the biggest market cap company in the pharmaceutical space, to Pfizer, Merck. I mean, these are massive companies. So for Absolera to have these partnerships, I think that's really valuable. Down the road, I foresee other drugs being successful that Absolera is a partner on and will receive royalties on. So I really think this model 
over time is just going to keep gaining value and have very high potential of being really, really valuable. I believe that Absolera is currently discounted by 5%, not a very high discount, but I'll get to that a little later as to why I'm willing to invest in this company. A couple of things to go over on their valuation is their intrinsic value of cash flows. I go with a very conservative expectation on cash flows and their value based on free cash flows is 838 million. They have almost $800 million of cash and no debt. So a very strong balance sheet. So really, if you look at the net present value of their cash flows and their cash on the balance sheet, they're worth about 1.6 billion but their market cap's only $1.5 billion. So very conservatively, you could say this stock price is fairly priced or maybe with a slight discount. But keep in mind that this is a very conservative free cash flow forecast. Just in one year, this company made over $300 million of free cash flow a year and a half ago. So if they get their, if they get their business to where they have a $100 million uh, per year run rate of free cash, this valuation goes way up. And this stock could 2x, 3x, 4x very quickly over the next two to three years. And that's why I invest in this company, because I believe the investment isn't too risky at this valuation, but the upside is very high. So coming back to the scorecard that I like to follow, that I've created for myself so that I can make sound investments on, I really want to be part of this company. I think their, their model really fits the times now that we have artificial intelligence across the board for many industries. I believe Absolera is an AI company for the pharmaceutical industry. And I think the industry is one that I really like to invest in. The people running the company, there's some of the brightest people in this industry and they're operating the company well, especially keeping the balance sheet in great condition with no debt. They have a tiny discount, but the way I see it is they're actually giving you or giving me a stock value that's, that's I think, low risk with tremendous upside. If they really get their cash flows ramping, this company is going to be worth a lot of money. They're going to go from $1.5 to 30 billion, 40 billion, 50 billion very quickly. Therefore, I'm a buyer of Absolera stock. Absolera has either been in my portfolio or on my watch list for three plus years. And this company, um, I decided to buy into this stock this week, mainly because COVID has, is, has really made a, a comeback. A lot of people are getting COVID hospitalizations are going up. It's really infectious. My sister got it a couple of weeks back. It kind of ruined our Labor Day get together as an example. And a lot of people are getting COVID. A lot of people are getting the vaccine now. And as I see the vaccine sales rise, I'm expecting that Absolera is going to benefit from all the royalties that are going to be paid on the sales of those vaccines in a quarter or two. So that was one of the drivers for my purchase of Absolera. Absolera is really a long-term investment. It's not an investment that I'm making thinking, hey, I'm going to make some money in the next 12 months for sure off this investment. They don't pay a dividend. But I think that this could be a multi-bagger over the next five years. I think in five years, uh, I would would not be surprised if their stock prices. 3x or 5x, not a big surprise. It's just a very good business, really intelligent people running it. There is a risk that I lose all my money. Uh, they don't have any big assets other than, I'm sure, some really powerful computers and a lot of data. Um, but I think the risk is low that they're going to go bankrupt. They have $800 million on the balance sheet. They don't have a very expensive business. And they do have some revenue coming in in the form of paid research that companies are hiring this company to conduct. So I think it's a good investment. It's not, again, a low risk investment. It's not a proven blue chip investment. Like let's say you invest in, in Kroger uh, grocery stores. Kroger has been around over a hundred years, very stable business that keeps growing. 
that's not that business at all. But I also don't think Kroger is going to double in value in the next five years. I think it's going to steadily go up in value and pay a dividend. This one here, Absolera, could definitely really, really uh, go up in value. And that's why I invested. So that's my video on Absolera. Thanks for watching. Again, do me a big favor and like my video and subscribe to my channel. That'd really help me out. With that, I hope you have very good luck in investing in 2023.